LA Beast here. No, I'm just kidding. It's me, Ryan. Hey, check it out. So today we're going to make Philly cheesesteaks, but we're going to Texas them up a little bit. And what I mean by that is a traditional Philly cheesesteak uses just bell peppers. Well, we're going to add some jalapenos to it. And instead of using cheese whiz, we're going with Tostitos. So let's get to it. The first thing you got to do is get a ribeye. And I got this from my local grocery store. It's uh, Angus. Uh, and you want to cut it up in really thin strips. All right, cool. So here's the wonderful and awesome meat slicer of doom. Watch your fingers. Watch your toes. Watch your nose. So, look, it's a ribeye. Hello, Clarice. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you want it to be as thin as possible, and we'll season this once it's all done. Some people will put this in a bowl, which is probably smarter, but I want you to seam all my sliced meat. It's like we're at a deli or a butcher shop. Not the butcher. Okay. So be, you can be generous with the salt. You don't want to go overboard, but you can be generous with it. Because when you're cooking it, it's going to fall off. And the same goes with the pepper. got our meat seasoned and everything I'm gonna wrap it up in the butcher paper you can put it in whatever you know a container tinfoil whatever it doesn't matter I just happen to have butcher paper so but we want to some people will try to freeze it for a little while um, and the last time I did that I froze the meat so we're not doing that we're <laughs> gonna put it in the refrigerator which is cold enough and it's gonna hang out there while we prep the rest of the Philly cheesesteak stuff Closest things we're getting to hoagie rolls. Uh, you gotta split them yourself, so grab your nearest bread knife. If you don't have a bread knife, good luck. I like to leave them as intact as possible. All right, so uh, I'm gonna make mine on the griddle because that's the way you make the two sticks. A little bit of olive oil on there, and we're gonna put the veggies on first because they take kind of a minute. So I want to season these up a little bit. I'm just going to put pepper on them. You can do whatever, but the more pepper, the better. Cool, so I'm moving these to the cold side. 
but it's still, it's not really that cold. But they'll still continue to cook right here. And then we we'll start adding our meat. This meat will cook really fast. has been hanging out for a little while. I like to add provolone to the meat. Let it start getting sticky right now. Let it melt up real good. And then we'll mix our veggies in. Make a big giant mess. cheese first because the whole idea is cheese steak right well we already got cheese in the steak but we need more we need this tostinos tostitos we need this tostitos all over the place get ourselves a big heaping helping cheese steak Top it off with a little bit more of this. Yeah. Yum yum. Aha! Sloppy and awesome. Get you some of that. It's delicious. Thanks for watching. It's time to eat. See you on the next one.